That would so, be nice. Hi, Joanne. And your mom's not going to make it. I did remember to text her. Oh, good. Yeah, she oh, sent me earlier that they're getting their vaccinations about right now or yeah. in an hour or so, yeah. Yeah, she said they're getting it at once. So I'm like, oh, but I did remember to, to try to That's it. good because I didn't. <laughs> He texted me, so I, I was glad. Um, uh, Angela, I know, won't be here. Oh, good. I've been on like three meetings already this morning, and she's been on them. She says, I have to get something done. <laughs> so, yeah. well, we're going to try and get Jolynn uh, on uh, Zoom or something on Saturday so she can join us. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, that is if you, you know, want me to be there and you want to turn on your Zoom. Yes, we'll do that. We want you to be there. Yes. <laughs> well, I just hadn't talked to Debbie about it. We we were all set up to do it last time, and you decided you were going to go out vacationing with your husband, of all things, you know? Yeah, that, that's yeah. not going to happen this time. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we'll take you. Okay, thanks. Definitely. <laughs> uh, has anybody heard from Sabrina? Um, we've kind of text back and forth, but not every day like we were, but she's she's singing in there. Okay, good. I don't know if she I, I get really weird texts from her, and sometimes I just don't even know how to respond, so I don't. <laughs> I know. She'll send pictures and different things. Yeah. And so... I just I just send her little emojis just to let her know I'm thinking about her and oh good good um, good anyway so yeah we might have a, a small group today I don't know that's okay that's okay yes yeah this one it's not, probably another one of those that looks harder that especially that uh, one with the leaves and the flower and that the one we've kind of done, but the other one, I was like, whoa, okay, that's going to be fun. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about it, and it's probably good that mom's not going to be here. <laughs> yeah, she'd be like, what? <laughs> well, she would come up with her own design anyway. That's true, she would, a whole new one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to learn. I like learning new stuff. Well, and there's two different versions of this, and I thought about doing just two versions of it, but I thought, no, we'll, I want everybody to start thinking about how to fill things in and how to use what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll try and see if we can get all of this in one, one meeting. We can do it. We can do this. Yes. We'll speed draw. <laughs> well, hopefully. Which is so my, not Zentangle. <laughs> Well, we won't worry about mistakes, will we? If we're trying to <laughs> You'll be on to the next one. The thing about this one is there's so much going on, you can fix mistakes really easy. <laughs> you yeah, just put an extra up. line, nobody ever knows. It's so yeah. true. I found that the more, you know, when they have a lot of stuff in them, you think, oh, I've ruined it. And by the time you're done, you you can't even find it you half the time. you got to find the place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. true. <laughs> hmm. Leaf chain. Oh, okay. I see the name. Yes, and leaf chain. Cool. You're talking to yourself? She Hi. is. Hi, Jen. Jen. So we got a flash of a picture when you came on. It looks like you on top of a mountain with a red jacket. You. Me? Oh, yeah. oh, you know what it is? It's, uh. Uh, you know, when you go to just leave your picture on. Oh, uh huh. Yes. That's what it is. Um, it is at Kolob at the end of a trail watching the sun come up on my birthday two years ago. Oh, how cool. Yeah, yeah. You, do you know Dana Rogalski? No. Uh, she lives here. Okay. Anyway, um, she, she says, I want to, let's do something special for your birthday. And I said, okay. So she goes, I'll I'll get, I'll bring croissants and coffee and we'll hike the trail and watch the sun come up. That's a determined hiker that will get out early enough to do that. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was fun. Oh, good. What time of year is your birthday? Mm, September. Oh, okay. So if you had to get up early, but at least it wasn't freezing cold, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. 
It was a sunny day. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know the French spot? Yes. Yeah, that's where she bought the croissants. You know, those flaky, oh. has 10 tons of butter in them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> calories, just tons oh. of butter, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, hey, well, uh, I've got a request. Will you send me the link again, like where to see the taped? Um, for Propel? Yeah, no, for um, this Untangled. Oh, she hasn't. Yeah, if you put them I on lately. Done the last two. I tried to get the last one up today, but I don't know. I've never gone to see if I finished it completely. Oh, um, yeah, since I was I'm, I'm like way behind. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't know where to go to find. Um, I'll send. Yeah, I'll through. send it out again to everybody. Maybe um, once I get th this one uploaded. Is it the um, Celtic knots? Yeah, the one from last week. Yeah, the Celtic knots. I need to get the other ones too, but the problem is, is it takes an hour almost to convert the video, and it locks up my entire computer. So I have to do it like after work, and then yeah. I have to convert it one more time to put it on. YouTube and so that's like two hours of locking my computer up. I can't use it. Yeah. So. Debbie, you know what? While it's doing that, you could play. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what good advice. Yeah. That's how that's how I get all this stuff done that I you know, all these pictures drawn. Ah. Waiting you locked out of computer. your computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa. Hi everybody. Uh. Uh, Angela said she was zoomed out, so she's not going to be here. <laughs> okay. That's easy to do. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I was just so watching good. before this um, uh, the mental health thing that they sent out for the, the chamber. And um, they were, I guess this, it wasn't on that, it was an article I read about this zoomed out. It all depends on your attitude going in. Because if you're like, oh, another Zoom meetings, and then you're stressed the whole time. But if you go, I'm so glad I get to connect with these people on Zoom. It makes the whole difference in everything. So it's kind of like this. I enjoy this so much. But if I'd sat through three hours of meetings, I think I'd be a basket case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one on Saturday. Oh, I did. It was like uh, 10 to 2 or 3. Yeah. I, I think uh, it, my picture that, you know, my little standalone picture, that's going to be up part of the time. A lot, yes. <laughs> so uh, I can walk away. <laughs> you never knew you had to wash dishes that bad, but you really got to get those things done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, really, it just really depends, I think, on what the Zoom <laughs> what the zoom is exactly yes <laughs> if it's like a super long like meeting or a super long i mean you know even like amber i love amber's presentations so like uh -huh. to me that goes by really fast and i don't think it's you know a hard thing to sit through but right some of them are <laughs> yes yeah she scared me this morning because like five minutes before she got on she says I'm feeling really lightheaded. She says, I'm drinking orange juice as far as I can, fast as I can, but my blood sugar is plummeting. Can you pick up if I just like disappear? And I'm like, well, uh, <laughs> if you disappear, I think I'll call the ambulance first and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh. Like, I guess her blood sugar was down to 50. <laughs> she said it was in the 50s or something. It was really bad. It was, yeah, yeah. Does she have diabetes? She has lupus, and so um, I think she just has a lot of other things that happen with the lupus, and that's part of it, because yeah. um, she doesn't really have a problem with, like, high blood sugar like you do with diabetes. It's more like um, whatever they call it. Is it hyper, hyper, hyperglycemia? Hypoglycemia, I think. Hypo, Patty yeah. has a little bit of that. Patty has yeah. to eat regularly, or she gets really lightheaded, so I wonder if that's a touch of that. Hi, Becky, by the way. Hi. Are you talking about your sister? Um, I, I'm talking about my sister that has a touch of that, but this Amber is the girl that we work with oh. today that she was doing a, a, a presentation and right before she got on there, she said, she told Lisa her blood her blood sugar was 50 and she just sent a thing to me. If I like pass out and can't do this, will you take over? I'm like, 
Well, of course, after I call the ambulance. <laughs> well, her poor daughters would be there if she passed out. Like somebody's going to have to call somebody. <laughs> uh, I guess if your blood sugar's at 50, you don't think really clearly about what's really going to happen here. <laughs> no. Wow. You just think funny she was even sugar. worried about the presentation at all. She should have yeah. just been like, I got to get my blood sugar up. <laughs> That's dedication. I mean, that is dedication, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, my brother's got diabetes, and he has to give himself shots. And when he moved here, and he they had to change change his medicine because of his sugar. <laughs> and I mean, there was <laughs> times that I we almost lost him at night because he would do everything great during the day, but he'd go to sleep at night. And when your blood sugar and he wake up and his blood sugar was down to like thirty, oh. And he, all to the kitchen, ate a whole gallon of ice cream, and is still only went up to like forty. And he was just kept eating and eating and sugar and all that, and then and sitting. And then finally, it got okay. But that happened twice since he moved here. Wow! Like, you know that's crazy stuff. It's not something to mess with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's bad when it happens. I can tell with me kind of when it's coming on, and I just know that I just really quick gotta get some candy or. Eat so or eat something yeah yeah it's hard if you're sleeping and it happens to you yeah, <laughs> yeah so that would be scary yeah so scary well, i think we have everybody that i know is coming today is there anybody that we're missing my mom's not coming and angela's not coming and sabrina's probably not going to come but are we missing anybody else let's get started then because this one could be just a tad bit um, challenging, maybe. Uh, but oh, I got to use the right. <laughs> I'm trying to use my mouse and the pin. Oh, never mind. Maybe my blood sugar is <laughs> lower than I think. <laughs> huh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so I, I have two patterns. And I want to walk you through how to do them. And then if we have time or if you have time, you can put it together. I just wanted to show you how you can use these things and put them together. Um, so I think we'll start on the simple one, which is this one. They call it a kiss. To me, it looks like an orchid. So you can call it whatever, but official, officially it's called a kiss. And it's really, really simple, but I think it's kind of pretty. You just, oh yeah, that's pink. That kind of threw me off. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, you just start with a um, petal shape that's curved towards the middle. And then if you'll notice, I tried to do it several different ways. You can do it so they just touch. You can do it so this left side's smaller or the left side's higher. I kind of like it where it's higher and it overlaps but you can make it any way that you want. Those are the two main things that's the structure of this. And then, I don't know that we ever came up with a, a good name for these side things, but it's like stacked things. Um, you're gonna do three of these on each side or however big, if you make this really big, you might end up with more of them, but it's to make the round shape out of it. So whatever makes that round shape. <clears throat> Do that on both sides. And when I say round shape, it does have a flat bottom. So more like a cream puff shape. <clears throat> Um, one thing you'll want to make sure of is that you leave a big enough space between these and the two next ones that you're going to, that we're going to do to put a circle in there. And you'll see what we mean when we do it. Um, and then you just do the same thing with two of them on the bottom. They can touch. They don't even have to touch. It'd be like two petals coming down off of the bottom of this flower. So whatever whatever happens, it's probably just about like nature would be. And then the lady who did this, she had two different things. One of them, 
you fill this whole part up with a circle so it looks like a seed pod. And one of them should just put one circle down here at the bottom and fill the rest in black. So whichever way you like it, um, just fill this in. <clears throat> and then blacken around the outside. <clears throat> and on the bottom two, <clears throat> It looked kind of heavy if you, to me, it looked kind of heavy if you filled it all in with circles. So I only put one right here at the top. And you can either blacken in underneath it or just leave it however you like <clears throat> on the bottom. And that is the whole thing as far as what they teach you. The things that I like adding after that are like the little, I think these are called stamens on a flower. Just a few of these to just kind of add a little bit to it. And then uh, the picture that I drew, and we're not going to use this in the the, in this drawing in the tile, but I, it, these look like the kind of flowers that are hanging down. So I put the branch from the top, just like something like this, just so that it looked like it was hanging from the top instead of from the bottom. It, but the pattern doesn't call for either one. So it's up to you if you want to even put anything with it. So does everybody have that one kind of figured out? That's the simple one. That's our warm up. So we'll, we'll hey, maybe that's a good idea. Every time we'll do a warm up that's a simple one. And yeah. then our challenge, it'll be like exercising. Okay, anybody need to have this on here? I'm gonna clear the drawing. You should all have the, the directions I sent you anyway. Good. Okay, so now we're going to do the little bit more challenging one. And there's but, two, what's that? Um, on, on your sample, you've got kind of a, um, a, I guess a little branch or something. Uh -huh. So is that just a straight line with little circles drawn in it? Or how did you do that little branch? I just did, it's basically like, I just came down from the top like this. Uh -huh. And yes, I just did circles in it. Okay. And okay. it made it, yeah. Okay, so um, I might show you the other, other one of these. We're going to do, this is kind of, I don't know if it's the simplest. It was, it's whatever it is. Um, but just know there's two different versions. And the other one really looks like a chain. This one looks more like, I, I envision it if it's really little, this would make a beautiful silver chain necklace. Can so, you send us another one? I did not send you the other one. We'll do it another time. Oh, we're going to do it as a Yeah, thing. I'll oh. do it. Yeah. Or I can, I mean, I can send it to you if you want to. If you're not going to do it, then if you could send it to us, that would be great. But yeah. if we're going to do it as a, a thing, then great. I'm planning on doing it. Okay. Not, not next week, but at some point. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use green because green is going to be my pencil line. Now that I found out I can use colors, this is going to be fun. And you just start with... So are we doing pencil? Do, this is pencil to start with, yes. Okay. So you want to say where it's going, and then you're going to draw this, the width that you want your chain to be. And then you're going to, still with your pencil, you're going to divide it into sections. Just imagine this is a uh, chain. How big are the different sections going to be? And make them fairly even. They're going to be um, rectangular shape, not square. And then I just leave the two ends open. I mean, you could finish them off however you want to do that. <clears throat> 
And then we're gonna change back to pink. Now, now we do the rest with our pen. pen. Okay, so we're gonna start with the connection between the chains, it'll be like the link, I guess, that holds the chains together. And it's just gonna be a, a larger oval and two smaller either circles or ovals on either side. And you're gonna put that on each one of these lines in the middle. And that's gonna be the links that hold the chains that's not the link is the chain part. What do you call these things that hold it together? The connectors. The connectors. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, and then you're going to, we've done this before on something else where you take the elongated S shape and wrap it around looks like it's wrapping around your chain, but you wanna start it below this connector and end it above this connector. So you'll start on the outside like this and you'll do a that S shape across and then down like that on each one of the links. So it's gonna wrap around the outside of it. And on these ends that I just left, I'm just gonna put as much of this as you would see. <clears throat> okay, then this is the most complicated part, so it's not really very complicated. You're gonna make each one of these into leaves. And if you do the same motions on each one, even though they won't be identical, they'll look like they go together. So if you start at the bottom and you make this leaf shape up and then straight back, make the next part of the leaf. What do you call this part of the leaves? Boy, I don't, I need to take an anatomy class. But the bumpy part of the leaf that sticks out like the branch of the leaf. I don't know. Okay, so just if Call you- Oh, it's the remember, bumpy part. It's the bumpy part of the leaf, okay. And, and I find it easier to do all of the same thing on each one of these so that you're doing it consistently. So you go out in a curve back, do that, repeat that. And then I just kind of do a, another backwards S, I guess, at the top of that. To, and what it does is it makes the leaf look like it's curved around. So by the time you get done to the bottom one, you'll be really good at it. But do each one of them with that same shape. Okay, and then on the other side, you kind of almost do the same shape as that one and the fact that you're gonna do a curve that way and back and then, so, and, and it doesn't have to be this way. This is just the way that I'm doing it. If it works better for you to make your leaves all the same way, make them however feels comfortable to you.
<laughs> That's the hardest part of this one is the leaves. Now it's all downhill and easy. <laughs> Mine look like somebody stepped on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're all squished. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are we ready to go on? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know what species my leaves are. <laughs> you have alien leaves like me? Alien yeah. leaves, yes. That looks They're... like a caterpillar ate half of one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> uh, they're okay. fascinating. <laughs> now we're going to draw the links of the chain. And I, I think it's easier to not start on an end one, start in a middle one. And between this round space and the oblong space there, you're going to start and you're just gonna go round it out and follow your pencil line down. That's what your pencil line is there for, is to give you a place for the link to go. And you're just gonna round it a little bit and go back in. So it's kind of a chain shape. And just do that on all of them. When you get it figured out on the middle ones, you can do the end ones because now you'll know what you're doing. See, girls, by the time we get all this done, our leaves won't even matter. That's right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we were talking about that earlier, that the more complicated the design, the more mistakes you can make and nobody will ever know. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to echo the center vein, I guess, of the leaf, kind of narrow, narrow it, but you're going to echo that on each one of these and then fill them in with little circles. Oh. And you'll find that putting the little circles in there, you can also fix your lines if they're not very even. It'll look just fine.
Debbie, your coughing is better. It is. It, it got really good for a while, but I'm, it's coming back a little bit and I'm not sure what to do with it. But it, it's at least livable now. That's good. I was thinking that yesterday, I was like, man, I haven't heard Debbie cough for a long time. It's awesome. I'm sure oh, you think so too. Yeah, yeah. When I when I realized that that it really made a change was when my doctor said that after at the end of the meeting, she says I wasn't going to say anything to you the whole time. She said I was going to wait and see how long you made it, and I didn't cough once in the whole time. So, she says I think something worked. Great. Yeah. A relief, huh? Very much. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm glad it was a medicine fix, not a surgical fix. Yeah, yeah, I was just glad there wasn't anything wrong with me at all. I mean, except for in my head, I guess. <laughs> and going <laughs> your nerves. <laughs> yeah, my head and my nerves. Okay, let's do the inside of each of these chains. And you just start from the little circle and, and don't go straight down. You curve it out. You're gonna make a, like a, a pea pod shape in the middle, kind of where it's pointed on the two ends and it attaches to that little round circle. And then it's wider in the middle. So it'll look like, it, it'll be this shape, but the leaf will be on top of it. And then you're going to echo those lines to make it have like a little lip on it. <laughs> Drawing on a diagonal is like impossible with this thing. And then you're going to make it look like there's actual peas in here. So you're not gonna see much of the pea shape, but put put the part of the circle you could see there and the part of the circle you can see here. And if you've got space to put more than one, put another little one in there and just color in behind them.
So Becky, did you, you know Donna Jean Clark, right? She, I just was gonna let you know, like she just passed away. She's, it, I, they've both been in really poor health lately. Oh, okay, yeah, I knew. So, yeah. She, last but, time I saw her, she looked pretty bad. Yeah, Lynn, she, Lynn just told me this morning, oh, so. Well, I'm happy for her. Yeah. It's how's, tough. Lynn? I, how's Lynn doing? He's yeah. doing fine. Okay. He's good. driving to down to St. George today to pick somebody up from the hospital. So he's he's back to Lynn. <laughs> okay. He's still not supposed to be driving for another two weeks, I don't think. But you know. <laughs> what happened? To, <clears throat> what happened to Lynn? He had his knee replaced. Remember, he had his shoulder replaced. A month later, he had his knee replaced. Oh my gosh. So we got it all in before the end of the year when our copay went back up. <laughs> okay, there's just a couple other things to finish this. And one of them is you take, if you stood on your head and saw my picture, it's the right side of the leaf or the down side of the leaf on your chain. And you just thicken up this left edge so it looks like a shadow. And it also makes your leaf look like it's thicker than just a flat thing. So you just do the very outside of the leaf, thicken it up. And it, and it also gives that contrast that we've talked about where you need something really dark and something really light. It makes a big difference to your picture. And you can also use this to fix up any whoops as you had earlier. Okay, then there's just one last thing that you need to do. And I'm gonna show you what they did and then I'm gonna show you what I did on this one because it's a little bit different. So they, you just start in the middle of this connector and you go up and make a curly cue that touches some part of your um, link, whether it's the leaf or the link, oops. <laughs> And then do the opposite on the other side and it kind of helps connect them. And then just put a little 
ball right up on top. So come out in the middle, do a curly Q, and put a ball on top. That's how they did it. On mine, I just filled it in with circles. So I just like put a big circle right there to kind of make it seem like a one a more solid surface. And then I just filled it in with circles and darkened behind it. So um, you can do whatever you like there. Mine are so close together. I went up way too high, you know, where you start the uh, pea pod shell uh -huh, thing. Uh -huh. And so I have very, I have like this much space in between. I'll have to lower them next time I do it. I probably did that. That's the thing, you, what you guys don't see is that I probably draw these four or five times at home to figure out how far apart, how close they need to be. Um, what's going to be a hard thing to draw. So yeah, I probably did all of the above. This one will be a challenge for me. I'll have to keep practicing. Well, it's beautiful, I think, when it uh -huh. when it gets done. Mine's not, but yours is. Fortunes. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's really interesting. <laughs> My leaves don't even look like leaves. I'm not sure what they look like, but <laughs> they're weird, whatever they are. Uh, I'm so happy to hear that. I think for me, the way I the way I draw, I uh -huh. think it would be easier if I started. I should have started from the top of the leaf, and that would have worked better for me. And I went oh. the way you did, and it just didn't work out. For me well. <laughs> Uh, well, if we're all caught up, I'm going to show you how I put this one together. You can practice your leaves again. So, um, so now we're doing the tile. Now we're going to do the tile. I'm and scared. No, oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm scared. <laughs> so scared. <laughs> all right, we need to you guys are. Are you funny. scared too, Tara? <laughs> Well, I think drawing that, the thing, the the thing in pencil really helps, huh? Yes. Are we yeah, doing I that again? I, I, yes. I wouldn't try doing it without drawing it in in pencil. That would be too hard. So I'm, I'm using my pencil and drawing a really straight line here. It's kind of like backing up a truck. If you want it to go right, you have to go left. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Make so you want to what, maybe a quarter an inch or more from the edge? Because I cut out a piece. Oh, okay. Yes, then about, yeah, about a quarter of an inch is exactly what I have on mine. Okay. So then what I did is I just did this in four pieces. So I drew a line, like you said, about a quarter of an inch from the edge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then another one, I think I made these a lot narrower than I did the others. And it might, I don't know if narrower or fatter will be easier for you, but longer will definitely be easier. So um, instead of trying to put so many on this, you might just try like three and it might make it easier. I don't know why, but this is like a challenge. Like an Etch-a-Sketch is what I feel like I'm drawing on. Well, that is one crooked. I thought I measured this and it is crooked. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do uh, what I did is on all four sides. You can do whatever you want. What I did is two long ones and then two short ones in between. So you end up with a border. And I think I'll just do two, cut this one in half, and maybe do three on this edge. Four makes it a little bit, yeah, just three. So divide it into thirds or however yours works out. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, that thing. Then when you get your, your pin back, you're just going to put the connectors in first. So a longer oval and then two smaller ones on each one of these breaks. And I did not do anything where the, the side and the bottom meet. I didn't put anything there because you'll see it'll get pretty full right in that area with the, the two leaves and everything. So just And then the next thing you do once you get those in there is put your elongated S's. Remember to start below one of one of the connectors and end above the next one. And on these sideways ones, you guys turn your tiles because it's This kind of reminds me of one of them we did at Christmas. Didn't we do something like this with a wire wrapped around the outside of it? Um, and then, then do your leaves and like Jolene said, maybe it's easier to start at the top of the leaf and go down. Maybe it's easier for you to do a different leaf shape. They could be rounded leaves. They don't have to be pointed leaves. They can be whatever you want. confused. Oh, there we go. You're confused or did you figure it out? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay, you guys, you guys are going to think this is a funny question, but I just noticed when I get in a rhythm of doing something, I make it, there's a song going through my head that's exactly that rhythm. What are you, what <laughs> is your song? I, I, I couldn't tell you that, but it's like when I get, get to where I'm actually doing it, kind of a rhythm shape, it just kind of, do, 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 do. It's probably Jeopardy. You know what? <laughs> I love that. That is awesome. Okay, well, I don't know if this is any better or not. I just can't draw leaves like this, I guess. You could practice. It yeah. Will get better. It will get better. Well, it's pretty yeah, my leaf. not yeah. great at the moment, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the flow. Good. 
We still doing a pencil? We're not, are we? No, we're on pins. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Well, if you don't like your leaves, you can erase you can them. Erase erased. them. That's true. Yes. And you know, a lot of these more complicated shapes, a lot of people do use your their pencils to draw them in first. One of the I, ladies that I've really enjoyed watching lately uses pencil and sketches everything out first and then goes back. So see that's not very zentangly. Yeah, neither is doing it fast, like you said. Right. <laughs> if you think about zoom tangle, if if we're really zooming, then you're we're not really zooming, yeah. yeah. Zoom in more ways than one. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you have to admit there's lots of laughter going on. I guess that's laughter, chuckling at yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got you to laugh or cry, right? <sighs> or you just give up and don't cry or laugh. Or laugh. <laughs> Just listen to everybody else. <laughs> okay, next week I'll do a simpler one. <laughs> no, this is good. You should challenge us. Good challenge, yeah. <laughs> no, I like it. I think with practice, we'll get pretty good at it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's beautiful. You know, there's a, I've been coming up against more of them that are like really pretty. One of them I want to do is lace. Ooh. And. Maybe there's some pretty simple lace ones. So maybe I'll do that next week. Debbie, when you go out for a walk, do you find stuff and go, oh, that'd make a good tangle? You should see all the pictures on my camera. <laughs> yep, that weed, yep, that. I know, I look at stuff and I'm like, wow, that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. I should, I don't hardly ever take my phone. I should start so that I could go, okay, here it is. I actually cut a piece of red cabbage, like the bottom part of it. Uh huh. And Jim's like, that'd be a really cool tangle. And I actually ended up making my sister a birthday card with that in it. Very cool. Maybe that's what we should do for a couple of these is bring something and make a tangle out of it. Or it'd be know. fun. Because it, it'll, you'll sure look at things different, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. You can't walk by a plant without taking it apart and figuring out how the pieces fit together. Well, like my plant head. Yeah. That I did. Uh huh. My leaves do look a lot better this time. <laughs> <laughs> They're not great, but they do look more like a leaf. Are we are we going past the leaves or no? Oh, I'm on yeah. the I'm yeah. Oh, the leaf I'm sitting dog. here I'm waiting. Trying. Oh, <laughs> like a dork. Sorry. Right. Go on no. if you if you've got your leaves in there. Go keep going. I'm just. It's totally my fault. I just was talking. You know that how that yeah. goes. Yeah. I'm trying not to make these things so close. I think, yeah, I think when you start, the more space you give yourself, the better off you are. What do you do with the corner ones where you haven't drawn the thing? Just kind of fill in? You know how we didn't do the connector? Yeah, uh, it depends on how you ended it. On this one, I ended it with a chain on each end, but... Oh, Debbie. Um, oh, you hit. Okay. But yeah, otherwise, I just kind of let it go into the great universe out there, wherever it ends up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because like on one end, my leaves come together, so... You just kind of figure out what'll fit in there and squish it in and it'll look like you did it on purpose. Yep. Exactly.
<clears throat> you have to remember to make the ones that are on the top and the bottom go another direction. I almost tried drawing them in this way. It wouldn't work very good. <laughs> You'd probably never know once it was done. Yeah, you, you're right. I might not, but... Well, especially because, you know, what I'm drawing on right now gets erased as soon as we're done. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I never did that. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> are you guys nuts? Yes, we are. <laughs> That's what I love about you. All right, now. Okay. So then, this thing. Well, the feeling's mutual. Sorry for the delayed response. <laughs> I'm, I'm drawing. What, what is that connected to? Uh... <laughs> right, I'm a little slow. It's your fault. You made me draw. I know, yeah. That's a horrible thing to do to somebody. Uh, right? <laughs> How dare you? Made me have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't know about you guys. I've kind of got like addicted to this stuff. Every every night when I sit down, I grab a pencil and paper. And it's, it's a good way for me to relax at the end of the day, I think. Yeah, I really like it. There's a couple of groups on me that um, does um, this, and it's kind of cool. Oh, that's funny. It is funny that something so kind of simple has really caught on. And I don't know if it's because of COVID that people are looking for something they can do or if it's... Well, I know some of the art groups that I follow at the beginning of COVID were really doing a lot of Zentangling, but they've kind of moved on. Yeah. But I I, I think because it's so meditative. The thing, it, Tara, not what you said was funny. Sorry. I drew my connector <laughs> sideways on one and I'm like, oh, that's not supposed to be like that. Sorry. The conversation here is pretty funny. Anyway. Yeah. Who needs your mom when you have me? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> then you guys all know I love Joanne. <laughs> uh, but she is entertaining. I know. I love her too. She is. <laughs> she kind of, my, my mom's kind of the same way. We, we could never get her in here, but. She, you were, when we used to have family gatherings, you know, back in, uh -huh. before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the old um, days. Yeah, in the old days, before. it, uh, we would just hysterically laugh and she'd be like, why are you laughing at me? That is so funny. Oh, nothing. <laughs> kind of like your mom. Yeah, well, my mom does it. My mom will laugh and laugh and laugh and not really know why she's laughing, <laughs> just because all the rest of us are. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we love her and we're not making That's fun right. of her. We're laughing with her. Where's she been? Um, she is getting her uh, vaccine, vaccine today. Her, oh. The first one they finally got. I know I've, oh. my parents have decided they want to get it and I've got to I don't know because we're right in the middle. Like they always get their flu shot in in uh, Cedar, but we do live in Washington County. So I don't know if they're gonna be sticklers about that. Does anybody know? Yeah, it has to be in your county. Yeah. So we're Where gonna have to go to St. George. Has okay, anybody thanks. tried um, the online registering to get a... Uh, 
appointment to get it done? Has anybody tried that? Mom couldn't seem to master that, so. Well, my dad says they've been saying on the news every night that like so many people in Washington County, because there's so many elderly people right. are trying to get on the site that it keeps crashing. Oh. So that, that might be part sense. of her problem. Yeah. They said Walmart and Smith's is going to start doing them now too. Huh. I looked at Smith's site yesterday and it, they're not even in Utah yet. Because um, I did read that. You check Walmart? No, but if I have to go to, I can't go to, my, I can get my parents in Walmart anyway. Um, True. But uh, I can't, if they're going to be sticklers about it, I'm going to have to take them to St. George because that's the county we live in. Yeah, I think the health department it's the only option right now with whatever county you live in and then it's just like specifically whatever their groups they're on right now which i think is the 70 and older well my parents definitely could have had it a while ago if we could have but they've just decided they want to do it so okay. and does anybody know because jim and i live with them and take care of them if they'll let us get them too i don't think so I don't it's so think stupid. So. We're the ones that go out and do everything. Right. I mean, I get it, but. I guess because I'm not a paid caregiver. How's everybody doing? Anybody have questions on how this is getting put together or anything? Just winging it. Just winging it, good. <laughs> this one looks a lot better. Just imagine what your next one will look like. It'll look like Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can yeah. figure out the leaves, it would be good. <laughs> These ones don't look too bad, some of them. If you don't look too, if you squint. Well, and if you put enough stuff on them, like this middle line and oh, yeah, I haven't even dark started that one side, yeah, they'll look fine. I do like the darkening of the one side. That's cool. It makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, then you've got that contrast. This is much, much funner the second time, Debbie. <laughs> I'm glad we did it twice then. Me too. Some some of these, you know, if you get frustrated with them right out the right off the bat, you don't go back and practice. Yeah. I did a lot of the Celtic knots last week because I'm like, oh. I was really struggling. So I just kept doing them over and over until I'm like, okay, I get it now. So it makes sense. Yeah. And once it clicks, they're not too, too bad. You just have to, oh, it's uh, five minutes to two, everybody. Ah. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm you guys all bring them back and show us next week. Yes. I still have not got um, figured out. I went back to the um, blog. I think that still might be the easiest and just have everybody give the sign on to everybody and you can put your own on there. But I think it would be fun just to have a record of all the stuff we've done. So is any, everybody's still hard at work. Okay, take a breath. <laughs> Today, well, uh, finished. Joel, you got your, got your head up. You look like you're ready to go. Let's see what you I'll did. show okay. what I've done. I don't have that much done, but. Oh, it looks good. Oh no, that looks wow. really good. That's good. Oh, and That's I good. like your connectors really look like connectors. That's I gotta show. I gotta show you the first leaves. They're horrible. You know what? They're not. Oh, they're, they're good. No, they're no. not. You should see mine. <laughs> they're so flat. They're like. Oh. 
I want to see yours. Show me yours. Yeah. I, you're next, oh, Lisa. No. <laughs> you're Come on, Lisa. Show. I had to show you no. mine. I gave off and started doing something. Didn't do anything any else. It was really, it was um. really bad. I did it. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. just worked on another thing. Another I, just, I love hanging out with you guys, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's bad. Get, get what you can. That's awesome. Okay, Tara, let's see what you did. Okay, there's the first chain. Wow. That's oh, wow. awesome, Tara. Yeah. And then here's my... Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Oh, yeah, it is. The leaves are really big. I like that. That's really different. That's going to be beautiful. Nice. Oh. Good. Fun, fun. Okay, Jan, how about you? Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's... <laughs> yeah. No, that's pretty. Oh, that's good. That. I can't see it. Talk, talk, oh, Jan, I can't oh, see it. Talk. Talk. Hello? There you yeah. go. She yeah. never came up, dang it. Oh, it well. still never came up? Can you... Well, put I turned... It's okay. I'm, I saw. I went back to gallery. It's just oh, okay. I'm blind, and so I'm like, I can't see. That's good, Jen. I like it. Yeah. Thank you for showing yeah. me four times. <laughs> it looks like uh, teeth. There you go. Oh, it looks nice. I thought you said teeth, not leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you, Becky? Oh, I was hoping you'd miss me. No. <laughs> There's that. Your leaves are oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This one, I'm. I had to go over my pencil. <laughs> so, oh, that's good. That's yeah, gonna be nice. Better. You're really yeah. good, Becky. <laughs> well, if you guys want to finish the square, you can either put one of these in it, right side up, or something else. Put a star in there, or something else that we've drawn. Put it in the middle, or a frame with a picture of your kids, or. <laughs> Or whatever. <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> uh, well, thanks, you guys. Next Thank week, we'll, next week we'll do lace. That'll be fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody.